What's up, guys? Welcome to Rise to Elevate Podcast, interview 34. And you already know what time it is. I don't got the capital, but I got DC, the man himself, uh, the co-founder of Underdog. Yo, let's actually dig into that real quick because I want to change it up. Everybody who's been watching and following Rise to Elevate Podcast, you kind of know that I start off with the whole, where are you from, what street you're from. But I kind of want to dabble in with the Underdog. What, what is Underdog? First. That's crazy that you would say the capital, because that's right. why I call myself. No, uh, so all right, yeah, we'll dig into that. We'll, we'll dig into that. But what is Underdog real quick? Underdogs is a it's like a collective of started off really me, my man Jamaica, okay, and uh, my friend Darius XD you can go by, okay. and um, that shit really was created in in a band class in like the ninth grade. To wow. be honest with you, see, I felt there was a deeper meaning because you're the first person who not necessarily like the whole you know, introduction part, but you gave me the whole, like, the energy of you want to present yourself. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I've had a lot of people who founded stuff on here, but they've never been like, I want to be a founder. So I felt yeah. something was up with that. Um, so let's dabble into the future, or I mean, into the past, though. Where are you from? Like, what what area or, like, what country, or not country, but city? So I always say I'm like, I feel like I got dual citizenship. I was born, <laughs> I was born and raised in Somerville. Okay. But my entire family, every sibling, and my my mom and dad were both all born in Brooklyn. Wow. So it's like the way a, that I act. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a big change though, yeah. man. Holy cow. So where'd you spend more time in? Like New York? Or? I spent way more time. I was down here, but I used to go to New York every summer. Wow, dude. That's dope. You and my dog Frank would love to collab. He's from there too. Um so it'd be cool. Um so like even going from that area from there, what was like the big difference that you noticed? Well, the mentality of the people is a lot different. Yeah. It was way faster when you're in the city. All the bad shit that I learned, I learned it in New York. Yeah. Or from my, my cousins that came down. Yeah. <laughs> they came down there it's getting into trouble. Though, right? Because you honestly learn from those bad things. Well, they... I learned not to be like, like I'll tell you, I was in New York one summer with my uncle. And I think I was we about to cross the street. And I'm just lackadaisical on some, you know, on some Southern mind yeah, shit. Yeah. And about to walk into the street. And he screamed at me like, what the fuck? Do I gotta keep it? Hey, do I gotta keep it censored? Right. Oh no, you're good. I okay, mean, okay, okay. I try to tell her. I wasn't trying to do know, too much. But you can be yourself, man. But, but he, he like, you know, what's wrong with you? Like, right. like, you about to walk out to the street? You, right. you ain't in South Carolina. Right. Then from then on, I was like, okay, this this is two completely different. Like, yeah, because they drive crazy out there. Right? Everything they is crazy. Beep, beep. You know, you drive know, crazy, beep. act crazy. Right. People walk past you, looking crazy. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> so, <Not> crazy. <laughs> so that just taught me. So the the main thing is just taught me to keep my antennas up. Right. You know, no matter where I'm so at. So you didn't do no school time there in no, New York. No. Okay, so it's strictly here. So where'd you go to like elementary school and middle school here? Um, I went to Spain Elementary right there. Oh, that's the dope. Corner. I love Spain. Then middle school, I went to Rollins Middle School. Dude, that's even better because they're not there no more, right? Well, or they moved. They moved. They got a new okay. campus. Yeah, that's dope. How'd you get entered? Would you audition music? I did band. Yeah, that's dope. I did band and then, the, you know, you got two things you could uh, audition for. Audition. So I did band and I did uh, theater. Okay. But, you know, they... they Accept more people for band every year, so they were just like. I already know, cause yeah. I tried to audition, and my mom was like, <coughs> "No." <laughs> I was like, "Damn, bro, that's messed up." So she threw me right into the bows. And this dope man was small world. So like, I don't normally ask like what age people are, but what age are you? Like, how old are you? I'm um, 24. Yeah, so me and you are the same yeah. age. That's why I felt like that. So did you graduate from? I went to Ashley Ridge. Okay, wow. So you probably know T.J. Groom. And all yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. That, dude, this is small we'll world, bro. Matter of fact, T.J. was a. We used to play upward bound the basketball wow. thing in middle school. He was on my head. Yeah, this is a small <laughs> world, bro. Shout out to T.J. and uh, T's Tunes actually. But dude, this is crazy. So this interview is actually hitting on spot because yeah. you, I can relate with you. You know what I mean? I know um, everybody. So did you go to skate ring and stuff like that too? Music motion yeah little crazy all night skate everybody had their little girlfriend in middle Everything. school they were trying to get their rocks off they was like oh, i gotta go to all night skate hey, they got bro, their girl, rocks be... off bro and then look you got a girl that went to a different school right. so you like we gonna meet up at the skating mm -hmm. ring no, right. and it's that it's going it's going down <laughs> but my mom wasn't really trying to let me go to shit like that for real so yeah. like let's go and dabble into that like how do you feel about your parents like do you are grateful for what they've like done to you were they like strict and stuff like that um i would say well, they weren't necessarily strict. It was just like my mom been retired my whole life. Wow. My mom got uh like she got a disability. Yeah. She got a lung condition. Okay. And so she hasn't really worked my whole life. Yeah. I mean, but I mean she you know she in good health or whatever. Yeah, but she just she just not you know not to work every day yeah, type stuff. Right. And um, so. Then what I was about to say. Oh, so. 
It's all good. Um, flipping. So, like, after even going through that, which you know, not many people go through that. You know, um, how do you feel like you 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 do your music and stuff? And I know we haven't talked a bit about how you got into music, but that plays a big role probably in your music. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. So. Not nah, okay. I, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, I went to work today. You're good. Last year, scattered rain. You're so good, look, man. I didn't really get to leave the house a lot. Wow. Or or I was never left alone. You know, like a lot of time, kids, like. Man, them kids in the apartments was right. running crazy. They mama at work. Right. They running in and out of they, they friends' apartments. They was out here running around mm-hmm. talking to girls and shit. I didn't have look. I had my best friend. We, we we like this because that was the only person I could really hang out with. He lived right next door to me, and we still best friends to this day. And um, so that was pretty pretty much you know. That's still crazy, though, man. Because I didn't. I was allowed to go anywhere I want. It was just like you got to be back at a certain time, you know. And I feel like a lot of times as kids, you learn from that. Like that stage of that life right there is probably one of the most important things, and that's probably why you're able to come in here looking fly because <laughs> you know what I mean. Your parents taught you taught you a lot of consistency and how to be yourself. And then you know what I mean. Yeah. The New York thing is really they scared. They they right. know how wicked the world really is because like they came from the project, so mm-hmm. they're just like. You better not be, you know, run around doing this and that. And of course, like the neighborhood I grew in wasn't bad at all. Right. So it's like I'll run around through the whole neighborhood or whatever and be back at a good time. As long as she knew where I was at, pretty much she wasn't she wasn't tripping. But like I never got them home alone. So I never got to sneak that. out. I never did no I ain't go to no parties or right. nothing like that. Like I was just but it was cool. Like I mean, I was still able to do whatever I, you know, what I'm saying and whatever I wanted. Perfected craft too, because I've heard some of your music, bro. I heard one of your songs, and um, it was actually when we first met. Not met, met, but when we first started collabing after the concert at the Grill Tea Show. And um, dude, I'm trying to think. Someone nice in Paris. Dude, I think it was, bro, because it, was, it was one of your biggest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of your the biggest songs on your um uh, Apple Music. Yeah. Because I, I mean, you're on Spotify and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm on everything. everything. TikTok, all that, bro. Okay, I was just making sure. Um, but no, do you like not necessarily when you make music and stuff like that? Like, do you think about everything though? Like, how do you? What brings you up to your music? Like, how do you create your craft? A lot of times, it's just. I used to think too much. Then I realized naturally, you know, being smart and like thinking is not what I need to focus on because that should come naturally. Yeah. Like, so I, so I just like, you know, Jay um, told me that a lot. Jay, the other co-founder of the Underdogs mm-hmm. and the, my producer on um, pretty much everything. He's just like, man, stop thinking so much. Are you overthinking? Just, just rap. You know, you know, you can rap. So just rap, make music. Mm-hmm. But like, as far as like the content, it's really that I really embody that underdog role because it was just like. Every time you'll hear me say that, and damn near every song that I have, I'm gonna talk about being an underdog because it's it's, a, it's more than just a theme. It's not just that's really how I live my life. It's yeah, like, right, right. I was a dude that, like I said, I wasn't outside. I wasn't. I might not have had the the, the J's because my mom wasn't gonna spend two hundred dollars to buy me shoes and mm-hmm. shit like that. So, didn't necessarily wasn't checking for me then. Mm-hmm. And then it's just like now the shit come full circle. It's just like damn, like. It's meant to happen. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. And that's what it is. So, like, what age did you, like, find out, like, about your music passion? Because, I mean, you applied, or not applied, but you auditioned for Rawlings and stuff like that. Was that, like, the time period you were like, this is it? Like, I want to do this? That was a great time, I will say, to, to you know, really get well. I used to sing, like, I grew up in a church. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? I was singing on the choir and stuff. I was always around music. Matter of fact, my dad actually was, like, all-state, like, trumpet player in, wow. um, you know, in New York. Jeans. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's my dad's name, too. No, for real? Hey, I'm in no spot. That's cool, though, man. But, um, so, middle school was a great time to actually, like, get introduced to that, because that's literally when your brain's, like, developing and shit. So, like, I think that just left an imprint on me. And then, so, like, the way it is, you have the same people in your class for three years straight. Yeah. So, everybody that was in that middle school bailed me to this day. Like, I probably could call up and ask for anything, and wow. they're they going to pick up the phone, because that's just the bond that we built. Right. So, like I said, Jay was in that band with me as well. So like, the chemistry that we have on tracks now is really real it's life chemistry that, yeah. that translated into years of knowing these people. Like he played percussion and I played that, and it's still the same thing now. He's still making beats, so essentially he playing percussion still, and um, that's that's really where that that's where pretty that shit started. Though man, so like I, I mean, you kind of already answered it yourself, but do you think that like having friends that you've had for a long time has played a big role? And I know I keep asking the big role, but that does like. I'm trying to figure out how you're able to be consistent and do what you're doing right now. You know what I mean? I'll say I've probably never fallen out with a friend in my life. That's awesome. Like bro. my, my people, my people, a real one. My people that I've known, like I've known since first, second, third grade, and it's been like that. Like you know, you hear people like, "Oh, what happened to so I fuck with him no more. No, we not cool no more. I'm like, I don't really have. I can't even think about nobody that I 
have ill will for, I would think don't like me. It's just because of who you are, you know what I mean? You're a genuine cool person. Well, I just I try to keep it cool. <laughs> yeah, you do, man. So let's like, let's linger into the whole DC part. Like what age were you like starting to go by DC? So like, that really came about, yeah, when I started rapping. Mm -hmm. I used to say DC did it again. All right, well actually I was making beats first. I was in college when I really started to, you know, decide to take music. Cause I really had lost myself at one point. I went to school. What I college? Didn't, I went to USC, Columbia. Oh wow. And, um, but I went there for change. finance. Yeah. And went there, found out quickly. Was it finance or partying? Yeah, yeah, it was partying. Yeah. It was partying for sure. Yeah. I wouldn't trade that experience for nothing though. But it was definitely like I was focused on bullshit. I and I picked a major that I didn't like. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I don't even like math. Yeah. And I'm in here doing fine. Then basically flunked out. I hit. I found myself on the dorm room floor, just like crying, like what's going on? I'm flunking all my classes. What am I doing out here? What do I? I didn't know what I wanted. So I, I say I had to. I had to go through that experience. And the type of hit like my rock bottom, you would say. And then that's when I really had to fall back in love with what I loved the whole time. Like, yeah. why didn't I go to school to do something musical? Right. And then I, well, I look back, I'm like, I went to the school of arts. Like, for me, like this was already written. Like, mm -hmm. I should have did some shit like that. So, I went back to school to yes. Francis Marion. Wow. And I changed my major to. Uh, that's a more focused school too. Like, you can focus. Yeah, it was. It, like, in the, exactly. Yeah, that was my good. goal. I said, I'm not gonna make no friends here. Mm -hmm. I'm not even trying because I'm not here for that. I wanted to just focus on. Um, I changed the musical. Like a musical field, I wanted to do audio engineering because I was like, maybe if I do that, I can get a job in the music industry music and meet it. Yeah. And I had started making beats around that time too. Um, I wasn't that good at making beats, really. Then uh, I went to France Marion and COVID. That's when COVID hit. So I really been rapping seriously since since COVID. the beginning of the pandemic. Okay. That's when I started making my first song. So when when that uh, when that COVID hit, I was like, I'm not going back to school. Yeah. They wanted us to do online classes and all that. I said, I'm not going back to school. And I made my first like EP. I, I was sitting there, I locked in, I said, I'm gonna make a tape in a week. And what I was just, the name of the EP you dropped? Uh, it's called PDN, Professional Dope Nigga. Okay, let's see. <laughs> so how'd you get, how'd that come about? Like, how do you make up your names and stuff like that? I just be thinking about like, I didn't, I didn't know how to describe what I was. I didn't want to box myself in and put myself in a label myself as one thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just say I'm a rapper because I'm like, I could produce, I could rap a little, I could sing a little bit, I could. Jack of all trades, master of none type guy. So right. I was just like, rather than just be, say I'm a rapper, and then that sounded too cliche. Everybody comes up to you and says I'm a rapper. I, yeah, I, I actually hated saying that for a time period. So I'm right. like, it's a professional dope nigga. I'm gonna call it that. Right. And that's how that came about. And that's since then. I just kept rolling. Right. No, that's how you gotta do. It. And I've noticed that you don't not necessarily drop all the time, but like you take your time with the dropping. Like it's not like a rush. So like, what do you have working on right now? So it's always a plan. Mm -hmm. I just dropped a single called Too Emotional. Okay. Um, I'm about to do some visuals for that. Yeah, and bro. Hopefully get that out this month. Then, and then like I said, I'm a co-founder of the label too. Mm -hmm. So like when I drop, I also have the other people that we collab with in mind. So it's like, we, we we set up the lineup for the whole roster in advance. Like, all right, wow. we're gonna do this in February. You're gonna drop in March. So I got the visuals coming out and then I'm, I'm planning on dropping again. I might drop a little a little EP or something. Yeah, man, I tell every single artist that comes on here and shout out to Go Diego, he came on here, is you gotta drop a, a visual for every album or song, whatever it is. You he do. hard. Yeah, he, he is. hard. That's what I'm saying like, <laughs> I'm a rich sign in. And you, and you know that. Yeah, real, like, I'm telling you, like, you have to drop a visual. So, like, I, my advice for real, just drop visuals, tell your whole label. Visuals, visuals, visuals. Because as much as you make noise, they have to see it. I'm the type of person I want to build with the people that I yeah, work with, too. Yeah. So, I, I was trying to having a hard time trying to find, like, a lot of these photographers and stuff around here are pretty Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm, I'm not even, I don't like reaching out and feeling like, you know no, what I'm saying? I, know what you're saying. I want to build a genuine. Pulling out weight and stuff out of your pockets when you shouldn't even. You know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. Like more than where you should. So how do you feel about collaborating in Charleston? Like, do you think it's like a big no-no, or is it like a you kind of just watch who you be around? I'm getting more. You know, I'm more open to collabs now than I was before, but I'm still very selective in who I choose because I feel like I can't like the brand of music that I make, and because I got such a respect for like the, the actual craft and the art of making the music. I. I can't even be in the presence of certain people because that's a cosign. Yeah, right, right. And I, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want it to be like, cause I can't fake the funk. I'm not gonna be here with you doing like, like if I didn't rock with you, I wouldn't be doing this podcast no, right, right now. Right, right. So I'm not gonna be in a studio with somebody who I don't like their music. Right. But I'm also not afraid to just be like, nah, this ain't my cup of tea, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. 
That's cool. Boy. At least you know how to keep it a buck. Because that's what a lot of people don't know how to do. Like, they think they're, if they do something like with this and this, it's going to do this. Like, no, bro, just keep it a real collab. And then, you know, I scratch your back, you scratch my back type deal. You know what I mean? Just with collaboration. Exactly. I'm talking about with this, you know? Because um, it's powerful, bro. Networking and teaching each other how to do certain things. But also watching who you give your ideas and stuff to. Exactly. Because a lot of times the people, I can only imagine. You know, I couldn't I, I couldn't have a record label because, like, if this man isn't dropping heat 24-7, you need to get out the kitchen, bro. <laughs> exactly. Straight up, bro. I can't have no, like, one album is not good. You know what I mean? So, but that's just me. I'm OCD. Like, um, oh, no, go ahead. No, no you're good. Go ahead. I just want to see, like, people who, they got to match, like, yeah. the drive, too. It's like, I, I notice a lot of people will say they, will, will quick to say they're a rapper, and then you go check out the SoundCloud or album music. This man got three singles posted, and... And it was two years ago. You're like, all right, we're like, what, you, what you doing? Though? That's the part. But I get like, and this is where I know I totally agree. But I get it where you take time out to perfect your craft because sometimes, it's, especially in music, it's easy to do it and post it. Easy, you know. But if you're not taking your time out, which I've noticed with you, because since I've met you, you're not like dropping like crazy, but spurts. Like I'll see you drop this and this. I go on like it's that. basketball. I go on a like run. That. You know what I mean? Yeah, bro. It's different. You know. Um, so like, you know, after high school and stuff, I know you went to college and, you know, you went down, you got back up and what do you do now? Like, what's the present moments of, what's the present moment of what DC does right now? I go to, I go to work. <laughs> yeah, I feel I'm not right. trying to, I'm not about to tell everybody where I work at. No, 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 no. Yeah, I didn't want that. Just but, like more of like, you know what I mean? Just like, like what you do. Like, but like while I'm at work, I sit and listen to like, I might listen to beats all day. Do you go to studio or do you travel? You know what I mean? Not like just work. Cause that's what's going on. And I'm going I'm to ask that question. Studio. 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 Like, all right. So I've just been to, built a studio at the crib. Yeah. Not like built, but like. I know what you mean. I yeah, put together my, my setup is pretty, I, I fuck with it. Is it in your room? It's in the garage. Okay. And um, so I spend, once I got that set up, I was like, I don't even got to go out no more. Like, I'm going to sit here, you know, drink, smoke, whatever I got to do in the crib. Save my money too, mm -hmm. and just cause I and then it's crazy outside. Like yeah. I mean, I I'll, I'll go downtown, you know, go out, have a good night out, or whatever, every card. now and then. Yeah, you know? I show face, but you know, if you show the face card too often, the value of it drops. Yeah, it so, really does, so. bro. And then you might even get lost. Like mm -hmm. your face card could get dropped and lost. You don't you know? want to just be labeled as the dude that's in the club <laughs> every. Yeah, exactly. That's a whole different topic. <laughs> cause yeah. I think a lot of times people do spend their times out in the clubs a lot. Um, so I was going to ask you, though, do you think that working full time has kind of like not lacked your energy of making music or even being collaborating with people, but prevent you from making good music all the time? Um, I feel like jobs are holding people back. Not not necessarily for me for like making the music. I mean, there's some days I'll come home and I'll be, you know, like, yeah, yeah. I don't feel like doing it no more. I might be at work like with an idea. And by the time I get home, like, I don't even feel like recording that shit. Mm -hmm. But um. As far as like doing stuff, like being able to go outside and, and a lot of times I won't even reach out for certain opportunities because I'm already knowing like, like how am I going to be? I'm going to have to quit my job to do this shit. Mm. So like, you don't think you ever like, I mean, if something were to come, I know. I'm are quit. you ready for it? I'm, <laughs> so I'm, I'm quitting. Out. These jobs are everywhere, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I got to pay the bills. Yeah, you got so to. it's got to be, it's got to be worth mm. jumping out the window for. I feel like when that moment comes, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to know. I'm not going to hesitate. No, and no. even my co like my coworkers look at me and be like, because you know they all know I'm in music, and they they, say, they looking at me like, fuck this job, yeah. man. you got to get <laughs> out, get out of here, bro. You don't need you. They look, you don't belong in here. Right. The OG at work, he literally bullies me. He'll be like, you need to, because he know he like you need to drop this music, and you need to. He said you don't want to be here thirty years from now talking about I used to be a rapper. He said you need to get the hell up out of here. That's a good man, bro, because it's real. That's actually what happened to me, but it wasn't more of like a you know do this and this is gonna happen for the rest of your life. But it was more of like, dang, this is life, bro. Like waking up, just paying the bills, and that's it. You know what I mean? There's nothing in between. It's real simple. Yeah, it is simple, but you can change a script, which. I know you're on the verge of it, but I also want to give you advice because you seem like a great-minded person. You can do it. Um, you just have to learn how to put 90% of it into your music and then 10% work, which I know you know. I'm telling you, look. It's real. It inspired music because, yeah. like I said, I'll get home and I'll be like, I'll tell myself, I'm like, you just gave them 10 hours. There you go. Why wouldn't right. you give yourself 12? Mm -hmm. Or even 30 minutes. <laughs> you know, you know, know I'm saying? Something to really... I'm, I love myself, so I'm like... 
I feel like I'm cheating myself, but you go, you gonna give them 10 hours and you're not gonna give you exactly it. Right. You can't give yourself an hour, go make that song. Nah, oh, that's a fact. Yeah. Man. How do you feel about self love? Because I heard you say that. Like, are you a big person on that? Like, yeah, you know, I mean, do you like glorify yourself more than not glorify, but you know what I mean? Kind of like carry yourself in a way so that you can actually get more attention, if that makes sense. I was, so I wasn't always the biggest, you know what I'm saying? I, like I said, this is that underdog mentality. Like, I knew. I knew what it was, but I wasn't always so confident to it. So once I got like really found and felt like I found like the purpose and what I was supposed to do, and then I started getting that validation, like when I'm when I'm rapping and they telling me like, nah, you good, bro, keep doing that shit. Cause like I told you, I used to not want to call myself a rapper, yeah, but like now, if you ask me, nah, bro, I'm a rapper, bro. Right. I'm really a rapper, bro. And you can like, show for it. You performed at a lot of places, bro. I, I watched you perform at the Tin Roof, Tin um, Roof. one time, and then we did uh, Courthouse. Yeah. How was that? That was recently, right? That was just like I was with Basic in a couple months ago. Yeah, that was like a month ago, bro. How was that? That poorhouse show was lit. Yeah, I that poor I was. I, every time I got on stage, I had fun. So yeah, that's cool. I right? was nervous the first time I ever performed a little bit, and then from then on, I was like, all right. I got excited for every opportunity. Like I'm the type of person if I get an opportunity to do something, I get excited because I'm like, all right, well, I'm about to show you something. Mm -hmm. So, do you find that, or does it come to you by concerts to um, to perform? I mean, it's 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 all in reach if I reach out and make the connection. You know what I'm saying? Usually, and because like I said, networking, I'm I got people that'll vouch for me. Yeah. So it's just like like I said, that's how I got the Four House Show because basic. You know, he he was already going. Yeah. He was gonna speak. He's like, oh, this this DC. Like, right. Go ahead. Yeah, no, and you deserve it, bro. Because I listen to your music on the stage, and like, you got people bobbing and stuff. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? It ain't just like a, everybody's looking around. So, like, how did you learn to get your energy when you perform and stuff like that? Was that just something you naturally picked up, or is it you watch Tyler the Creator? Because a lot of people watch Tyler the Creator perform. For for performance energy, yeah. I mean, I'm just naturally like, I was always the 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 friend that they know is going to joke around and just mm -hmm. you know do some goofy shit or say something crazy. Right. I'm saying what what people ain't going to say, but I just like. Like I said, studying the crowd. Like before I ever did a show, the the first thing I did was just look at my favorite artist perform. Mm -hmm. Who is that? Who's your favorite? Well, and then like so I was so like I listen to a lot of I say probably my favorite artist probably Drake. Wow. Which sounds real cliche. Uh, no, it's not. I can give you ten million. But I'm gonna tell you why. Things. It's because he's a, he's the, probably the most versatile. He's the best artist. He right he now. make everything. So and and I'm the same way. Like I I hear any beat and I'm like all right let's like I don't I don't like I said I don't like to box myself in. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't necessarily look at him to perform because he's probably not a good one to like to study for like performance. His energy. last one, I don't mean to cut you off. His last one was pretty hard. He just did the um, he just did uh Marvin's room, I think, uh performance on stage and like changed the whole scene to like a bed and stuff. He's, he's an was, actor. Yeah, <laughs> as a fact, he is. An actor. He could perform, no, but like as far as like like turned up like yeah, energy yeah, style, yeah. like like yeah. People are lit in that. Like I, like when I get on stage, I'm like, I want everybody to. I want, I want y'all drunk and jumping around. Yeah, cause, right. Because right. I don't want to be the only one jumping around. Because I'm, because one, of course, I love the song that's on. Because I made the song. <laughs> Two, like, I just feel like we should have a good time. Like I, I, like I said, I think too much. So I like, I like to make music that make people feel like, to jump around, just have a good time. Just right. Buggy, like. So you like consider yourself OCD since you think a lot. No. No, I'm actually the opposite of that. Like. <laughs> I lack like I'm I'm bad at like schedule. Right. And um I've been working on it. that's that's the whole theme for this year is like schedule and structure. Yeah, man, it all starts with yourself, man. I know it sounds like not rude, but just like it really does start with you. You have to wanna do this stuff and like, you know, right there I got my little whiteboard, you just have everything laid out. Like I got everything planned to where it's like Dang, dude, this man is like <laughs> really. So you know, I look at people and like they ask me like, "Yo, you want to do this in this month?" And I'm like, "Damn, that's crazy that you know what you about to be doing this far in advance." Cause yeah, I couldn't even tell you. Right. Only and, thing I know I'm gonna do for sure is go to work. Right. <laughs> See, you gotta change that. Yeah, it's you crazy. Know, I know you will eventually because I feel like some opportunity is gonna come your way and you're gonna be ready for it and it's just gonna happen. But you also just gotta know, gotta make the sacrifice. Yeah. Because I quit my job and didn't work for a year to do this, and now it's like. You know, you come over and I bet you're like, dang, this is comp you know, this she's is look, she's look, I'm scared. Yeah. I'm scared of that. <laughs> no, don't be scared, man. Don't be scared, bro. This is how it is. You're good. But no, other than that, man, like, where can we find you on, like, social media and stuff like that? And, like, or what do you prefer your social media? What's your favorite one? Uh, I got to change it because it's changed. It was like, it used, IG used to be the one, but IG is dying. It is dying. But, like, on all 
platforms, I'm just DC did it again. Okay. And like, do you like consider not just IG, but for the people that are following, listening, do you want them to like follow you on IG? Oh, more? Yeah, follow, me, okay. follow me on Instagram. Yeah. Cause, cause some people would say like, follow me on Spotify or spot me, follow me on Apple. So I was just curious. Everybody has a preference. Keep I prefer YouTube, IG. you know, I love YouTube. <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. I got a channel. I just started getting my channel updated. Cause like when you drop music, it automatically uploads to YouTube, mm -hmm. but it was sending my stuff to like some weird, you know, uh, page that wasn't my page and then I finally figured out how to link them so now all my music is on my page so okay now and then I'm about to start dropping videos down yeah, too so definitely. do you have like a mind of like you know I don't want to like you tell us the idea but do you have like a creativity mindset for your music or like what song you thinking about do? doing a music video too yeah yeah this the remember I said uh what's it called too emotional oh that's what you're gonna drop. do too yeah I got a video for that you know, and of course, knowing me, I've already conceptualized everything in my head. Yeah, I already, know. Yeah. I already. Can we yeah. get a little sneak peek? Or I see it? the, I see the vision for everything. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's gonna be a cool video. It's yeah. some cool shit. All right. Yeah. yeah. No, I was just curious. Hey, that's crazy. crazy. Hey, just thank me later, guys. I tried. You know? The video after that is gonna be the one. But it's gonna be a one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. The video I drop after that, the next one. Well, I think both are going to be fired either way. They all going to be fired. Yeah, they all going to be fired. So is there anything you think I didn't cover or anything? Because I tell everybody this. Next year, I'm going to have you come on at the same exact date. And then we're going to dig in a little bit more deeper. So that it's not like... Because I was telling shout out to Lucas Swing. I just did him previously. People have the size of a peanut. Their attention spans are the size of a peanut. So if I were to do a whole hour and a half interview on you no people, you know what i mean i just want to try and boom 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 so like is there anything else that you feel like i didn't cover just now just so that before i ask my final question all i would say is oh i gotta i, I gotta talk about my man jay yeah let's talk about that dog yeah. shout out to jay bro we go way back bro from life center so like yeah what about him man when that's we, your buddy right? we talk about like the motivation and the drive to do this shit before I really believed in myself, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you how it started. Yeah, let's do it. I decided I, I was making beats, and then I decided I want to start rapping. Right. I went back and I knew that Jay used to make beats back in the day, back in high school and stuff. He used to, and he posted my SoundCloud and stuff. But as far as I knew, he wasn't really making beats no more. So I went on the SoundCloud page and started listening. And we we both went to school in Columbia, but he was at a different school than me. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, we, I still I still seen him and stuff like that. And um, but we wasn't like this like yet. And I, so I reached out, I was like, yo, what's good with this beat? Like, he's like, oh yeah, you can have all of them shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. I held on to the beat for like, charge? for like, yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time, wow. just off the love. Come on now, we, we in band together. So at the time, I um I held on to him. I didn't have nothing, but I, you know, I used to listen to the beats. Then I remember the moment that we had it. It was me, Jay, and my man XD. The, the, when we started this shit, we, that, that was who it was. Right. And um, I got a video of us like we riding around in my car through downtown. I don't know what time it is, and I'm listening to an instrumental, and you can hear me in the background of the video saying, "Damn, I wish I could rap. I'll rap on this shit." I went back, and that was the first song that I really like, like made for real, for real. Yeah. And that was the first song that he produced, like you know, the, and that was our first collab, and wow. and that was everybody loved that. It's called Clout. Okay. That was everybody's favorite song. So I dropped that shit, and then from then on, I was like, okay, then. Fast forward, so once we did that, Jay saw that, he was like, all right, I'm about to start making beats. Yeah, you got him in inspired. Probably, I, I want to say maybe a year and a half, two years later, he gets signed. No, oh, wow. Congratulations to him, bro. That's huge. He gets signed. When I seen that, I was like, I can't stop now. Right. I can't stop. I made a song the day. Oh, I, like the, as the, the day that he oh, got signed, he yeah. I went home with the crazy energy. I was like, oh, yeah, we, we turning this shit up now. And I made one of my hardest songs that day. And I was like, the song called, oh, yeah. Okay, dude, that's the inspiration though. So even being around that, bro, that teaches you that you got to be surrounded by great minded exactly. people. You know what I mean? Because if you're surrounded by someone who's lacking consistency, communication, and even being honest with you, bro, Facts. how are you going to grow? Or even how are you going to make a record label? Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because it's impossible. But that's crazy, man. You're next to get signed. You already know that. Who would you want to be signed by if you could? If I could pick? Yeah. I don't want to sign the OVO. They're going to have me in a sweatshop. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. They're I'm gonna, hard, though. I'm going to disappear. Like I'm, I'm going to be party next door. Right. Who? I was signed to Gotti. Yeah. Because Gotti take care of his artists. Yeah, and they're getting big. They got deals. Like, yeah. off, out the gate, they're getting deals. 
I was signed to Gucci, man. Yeah. Gucci, like, because Gucci, you could tell who loved the artist. Right. Like, for real. Man, for real. I don't know. I heard about the necklace thing or the chain thing. How mm. he took little snoops or whatever it is. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but I, so, I you know. We fighting, bro. Okay, we had to. <laughs> <laughs> we fighting in the grave, bro. I swear. <laughs> Take my chain, bro. No, nah, but I mean, it's just wherever. Yeah. It would have to be the, you have to see the vibes. A lot like of people mission? that you look up to, I don't even, I don't even need to be signed. Yeah. I want to, my mission is. To consistently bring in revenue off of the stuff that I love doing, mm -hmm. and not even have to worry about it. Like Financial I just do cool thing. shit, and they want to give me money for it. Like, mm -hmm. like look at Griselda. They was they was independent. You know, uh, Benny the Butcher, and they they was independent for. I think I think still independent. I want I want to say, mm -hmm. but like they was just doing their shit. Like they built their own shit. Like you you knew Griselda, and that was them. Like yeah. you you could look and just look at underdogs, and just be like, oh, okay. DC is yeah. Well, yeah. You, you build your own platform. It's just like. I didn't need you to put me on. That's how I started making music. I told you, I, I went to the studio with that one song, and the engineer did this one song for me, and then I tried to hit him up again, mm -hmm. and he started acting funny. Like, like funny as in, like, he didn't want to make music. He didn't respond, you know what I'm saying? I seen him in person, was like, hey, bro, I hit you up. He was like, oh, yeah, yeah, just hit me up. Never saw him again after that. Like, he, I was like, I was just like, why the fuck would you do this? Like, you turned it down money. Like, mm -hmm. I didn't come through with a bunch of people and act the ass. I was mad, yeah, no. you know, well, well mannered. I was actually yeah. shy because it was my first time in the studio. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm just like, oh, well, he don't really want to work. Or or maybe he just don't want to, I don't know. He was focused on something else or whatever. But I was just like, I didn't like feeling like that. Like, Second option. Yeah, I didn't like having my fate in somebody else's hands. Yeah, I was like, right. fuck that. I can do it myself. But you are. I haven't I haven't let nobody else mention my vocal That's sense. what I'm saying. I'm proud of you. Because <laughs> that's all it takes is you, bro. And that's why. You don't need anybody else, man. You got to have the drive. If you I just tell people, mean? if you don't believe in yourself, how you expect to make other people believe in you? No, that's a fact. And that's why Jay can believe in you, too. And then, you know what I mean? It all just comes together. Exactly. At the end of the day, you know he's going to look out of you. That's your brother, bro. That's exactly. That's, 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 that's why I knew Jay for a while, man. I'm, I just suck at flipping fate or I hear names I know so many names that it's like you know, I'm on some Kanye West stuff bro with the mindset <laughs> I'm just trying to change the world no facts know? no look listen you like know? I said you see how Kanye believe in himself yeah right and look at his name now exactly. bro can't even go walk outside you know and shout out to not shout out but LeBron he just actually posted today he was like man I wish I could just go to Starbucks and get my name written on the cup and not feel like me like yeah. dude, I felt that bro like <laughs> dude we grind so hard to get where we're at and then it's like we don't realize when we get there we're, we're gonna wish we were yeah here you, you know gonna look back I mean? and be like oh, damn yeah bro so um dude again I wanted to, oh yeah final question bro um can you always be yourself when you wake up without a doubt <laughs> I just have to ask without somebody said no like who was it man y'all better comment on this it was like <laughs> it was like five weeks ago or something someone's like no and I was like what the heck how can you not but I mean, he kept it real. He was like, when I'm in here, I'm this person. When I'm at home, and I'm with my cats and stuff, I'm this person. So I kind of get it. I understand, you got a different shit. Yeah, there you go. And like, you know, for me, I always be, I'm Marcel Seabro. Like, I go by Marco, because um, Degrassi. I don't know if you ever watched Degrassi. That's yeah. why it's funny cool. saying Drake. Um, I got Marco from there. But um, Marcellus, like, I'm, I'm always Marcellus, man. Like, you just met me today kind of more in person. I bet you're like, damn, he's really about it. You yeah. know what I mean? Because I know I'm Hell about yeah. it. This is my life. So. <laughs> exactly. I mean, you changed the world. You Talk know? your shit. Yeah, for real. Same with you, though, man. You did a good job. Like, even, like, I heard you say you were kind of nervous. Not nervous, but scared a little bit. Um, but that's how it is when you're breaking the shell and stuff yeah. like that. And you did podcasts and stuff. So yeah, no, know. no. I'm not camera shy. Yeah, yeah. You're just saying in general, though? I said I'm scared to step out the window and, and, oh, and, and not work. <laughs> oh, I'm thinking of I like money. Game. My Bad, man. I like money, dog, bro. My bad. Well, y'all, y'all get right, man. No, I, hey, I ain't scared of nothing. <laughs> I ain't scared. I ain't scared of nobody who bleeds like me. Either. That's a fact. I fear bro. God. That's it. Yeah, that's a fact, man. You got to. But again, is there anything else you want to say before we go, bro? You got anything? All I gotta say is shout out to every underdog out there. Right. Embody what it means. Like, if you feel like you were part of the movement with us, like, if you feel like you was one of those people that's just like, I wasn't that, but like. But I knew I was that, and right. now everybody else is. All I say is just a matter of letting everybody else know. So mm -hmm. help me let everybody know. Mm -hmm. And, you know. Definitely, bro. I'm going to stay an underdog. I love it. You got to get some merch going, bro. We got the merch going. Oh, you got the merch. Okay. Don't I'm going to rock that thing because I'm an underdog, bro. If you know me, everybody sleeps on me. So He a dog. Keep sleeping. He got that dog in him. Hey, bro. Appreciate it, bro. Shout out to DC. 
the one and only, the underdog himself. Thank you for hopping on, bro. I can't wait for next year. We're going to get it cracking. Hopefully, we can fly you out to wherever I am. I should be out in LA and stuff by then. So a whole lot more money next year. It's going to be crazy. Yep, our whole, this is our year, bro. So again, guys, remember, stay true to yourself. Can't wait for you guys to see what's in store for not just me, but also DC. Stay, uh, I was about to say stay true to yourself again. Remember, you only, only way to achieve your dreams is through you. Nobody else is going to be able to do it. And hopefully by the time y'all see this, LeBron broke the record. Shout out to LeBron. I'm proud of you, bro. That's my guy. It's the GOAT. <laughs> <laughs> Love you guys. Peace. Peace.